Hey girl, it's been, oh, ew. Hey girl, it's been a minute. Let's get into some things. <laughs> What you need, girl? I need a hot boy. Six foot with six figures and a big boy. Hardy moving weight down south to Chicago, Illinois. And he need a college girl who will cancel why I'm playing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the crew. And if you're back, I mess with you. So I haven't said that in a while because I haven't posted in a month. Um. I'm going to get into everything that I've learned in these past four weeks and basically why I decided to take a quick break and just, you know, focus on myself. And um, it's it's been rough. It's been a journey, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm back and I'm better, I'm refreshed. Still going through some things, of course, but um, I just have a better outlook on everything and I'm ready to share what I've learned with you guys, you know, share what you miss, catch you up. And while we're doing this, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, even though it's, hey Google, what time is it? It's 7.04, but I'm gonna be doing my makeup for you guys, so it's not like weird where I'm just like sitting here and talking about like, when to the prince, when we live life is in shambles, you know? I'm gonna be like multitasking, so let's get right into it. All right, little disclaimer, um, I do look very exhausted and dehydrated because I am. All right, y'all already know my makeup routine. I always start off with cleaning my face with some witch hazel. And this is even after I'm using like a face wash and stuff because you gotta keep your skin on point no matter what you're going through. Do what you can, not what you want or what you feel. Do what you can. If you know you can wash your face, wash it. If you know you can go the extra mile and you know maybe stay away from that chili cheese fry because it's gonna break your skin out because you know then don't do it, you know? Make an effort, stop complaining. Stop like, oh my God, my life is this, my life is that, I look like this, like, get down to business and do what you can and God will handle the rest. Anyway, I'm preaching because I've learned a lot, like I said, so it's just, first thing, first thing that I wanna talk about in this video is voting. Please, 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 please vote. You are of age if you're over 18 you know if you're an 18 year old watching this shout out to you if you were given the freedom to do something you might as well do it you know what I'm saying make an impact this is your country too regardless of your skin your race your ethnicity um, your political views this is your country just like it's anybody else's we're all important and we all make an impact remember my last like get ready with me q a and i was like i love school this is amazing this is so much better than last year like i'm really feeling this vibe and everything like my classes are super easy nah, 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 nah. it's gone i don't feel the vibe no more it's been a challenge just because you know I keep referencing the same video because it plays so much in my day-to-day -day life. Like, for the only black girl or the only brown girl in the room. I need to really look up what that title I named it. Um, again, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It explains a lot about me and my personal life. But, um, I just, I'm still going through the same thing. And I know Rome wasn't built in a day. And I know that, you know, change isn't going to happen overnight. But sometimes it gets really frustrating because I feel like... Things are just, they're not working out at the school that I go to. I feel like I'm in the same place and I can ignore it for, you know, a few weeks and, you know, I can feel fine. Like I'm having the best time of my life, but something will always happen. Like an incident will always happen where like my race or ethnicity is brought up and I just feel like, like I'm always on go. And that's not a good feeling, you know? Um, there's been incidences, of course, with my friends. I'm not gonna like put them or their life on blast, I guess, on the internet. But just recently, and just because it doesn't happen to me or it doesn't happen to you, doesn't mean that it can't affect you. Because you share, like the common denominator is that we're both people of color, you know? We're both black, we're both mixed, we're both whatever. And I feel like it could happen to me and you know it happened to my people so I just feel a certain way and it makes me mad and I have to make sure to not stereotype one group of people for the actions of one person of that group if that makes sense like just because um, this one person used a derogatory term 
towards my friend or I. It doesn't mean that all people of that group are like that. And I feel like it's just, it's dangerous being in a place where every encounter you have with someone like that, it does nothing to prove itself wrong. Instead, it just like keeps on confirming like, oh, you're like <laughs> just keeps on confirming your suspicions and your stereotypes and it's really exhausting but I think the thing that makes me the happiest when I like have trouble with that at school is my friends that are just like me. I feel like when a minority is placed in like such a setting like this it's like we have no choice but to lean on each other and but to stand up for each other. When a minority is placed in such a setting you have no choice but to lean on each other and stand up for each other and it does make you a little more aggressive because you're always on go you're always on defense but I think but I think it's a relief just to know that like all right well at least she got my back at least he got my back like at least we're together and we're going through the same thing and it's important to reach out to those people when you feel like no one understands you yes Carter I kind of went on a rant there, but you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're dealing with this every day, it's everything is just like pent up in you and you have to let it out. Like, YouTube is my outlet. And I haven't had an outlet in four months. Wait, sorry. It feels like four months, but it's been one month. And I'm going crazy. Like, I'm just like... <sighs> All of this in my head needs to come out through here. Oh, if you hear background noise, it's because Carter's on the floor playing. So, and if you don't know who Carter is... Good. Stalker. Just kidding. He's my little brother. Okay, I've been feeling pretty lost in school recently. And I know, like, when you're in a certain class, nobody gets it. Everybody's, like, kind of laughing, like, oh, we're gonna fail. Like, this is so confusing. But when you're the only one, it's kind of isolating. And it just, at least it makes me feel like I'm stupid. Like, really, really stupid. Okay. Don't yes? Say stupid. Okay. That's a bad okay. It just makes me feel uneducated, you know? And I feel like I'm a slow learner in some things like math, for example. I'm not the best math person. And when there's like a certain teacher or whatever that you just don't really connect with and you don't understand their type of learning, it can be even more challenging. So I feel like the thing is I need to like not be too hard on myself. Carter, I told you to be quiet. Anyways. Um, but I feel like when I don't like get it on the spot or like the day that it's taught or the day it's introduced, I just feel like I'm never going to get it and I need to be patient with myself and so do you. If you're having a hard time in school, it doesn't mean that you're slow or dumb or you're lazy or you don't care. Honestly, if you see that you're putting forth the effort and you're just not getting it, you can't be good at everything, you know? So that's what I've been struggling with in two of my classes in geometry and orchestra. And I tell you, like, whenever I ask questions in one of these classes, like, I'm a funny person. Like, I like to make people laugh. But sometimes I'm not joking. Sometimes I actually don't get something. And I feel like people confuse that for comedy. Like, I'm trying to make people laugh and giggle and everything. When really it's at my own expense. Like, I really... I'm confused like what is going on but it's just kind of frustrating because I feel like some people although I have a YouTube channel and I, I to be crazy and all that stuff like I feel like most people take me as a joke sometimes especially when I'm trying to be serious and I just have a very like animated voice or like way of speaking or talking with my hands like I really am passionate about what I have to say and not everything is fun and games like there's so many things that you miss guys <laughs> Along with other people treating me as a joke, I feel like it's partially my fault too because I've allowed them to feel that way and they haven't paid any consequence for it. Because when I see that they're like laughing at what I'm trying to say, like I'll just be like, oh, okay, I guess it was funny. Like it's not funny. And I always try to make people feel comfortable, but I myself am the most uncomfortable and that's never okay. We always have to put each other first. Not, pff, wait a minute, that came out wrong. We always gotta put ourselves first. I feel like one of the biggest things that I've learned is like to be a self-advocate for myself because nobody else is gonna do it. Nobody else is gonna take me seriously. Nobody else is gonna believe in my dreams and my aspirations and my goals. And it's not their dreams, their goals, their aspirations to believe in. It's mine, it's not their job to believe in me. So, you know, I've been going through that. So, <laughs> I feel like a lot of people think I'm a project too, something that they can take on and, you know, make better. 
First of all, let me tell you something. You can't fix me because I'm not broken. Just because I don't do certain things doesn't mean that I need to, um, you know, develop and blossom into a beautiful person. That's God's job and that's my job. Whenever I see fit that, you know, maybe I do need to change, you know, maybe I'm ready for this. I'm going to do it. Best believe me. So I don't need any, you know, aid or help or anything like that. And I just feel like a lot of people like to categorize me. Okay, first of all, you can't put me in a bubble because I'm versatile. I feel like I put too much blush on, guys. Like, oh. <laughs> Carter, did I put too much blush on? Um, no. All right, we're good. They see me and want to change something. Or they categorize me and they see that I'm like a funny, girly girl. Well, then she can't be athletic then. Like, oh, no, you can't do that. Like, you can't run track. You can't play soccer. You can't do any of that stuff because... You're a funny girly girl, you know? You can be anything you want to be, and you can change as much as you want. You can give yourself that permission to, you know, try out different things. Don't worry about what other people think, because at the end of the day, who really matters? Okay? Put two things on the scale and see what they come out to be, and you are up here, okay? Always, always, always. Guys, I really think I did, but you know what? I gotta move on. Like, I'm just... I'm really just talking, talking, talking. Okay, bras. <laughs> My love life, it's in shambles, and I'm going to tell you why. So, I feel like... <sighs> right now, it's not time for me to, like, try to talk to any boys or, like, you know, have a crush or anything like that. Like, it's not time for me to be involved with somebody else when I'm still working on myself. Because I'm only 15, guys. Like, let's not get it twisted. Some people may act grown and do this and I like to do that. I'm still a child, okay? And I respect that and I respect my father's wishes to not have me out here, you know, with just anybody. So, I'm not supposed to be dating anyone. But I can't help that, like, <laughs> I'm a teenager, like, I have crushes, like, oh my god, you're so cute, you know? And I feel like all my crushes, I guess, or people that I've liked... I feel like they're just, they weren't it. Like, like that ain't it. Like, that was not it at all. Like, complete 360. Like, whoa. Wait, I'm at 180. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Remember, I told you, like, there's so much to come out of me. Carter, you have to be quiet. You know, it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. I'm not going to worry about these boys because, for the most part, when I look for somebody... I'm not going to find them because they're going to come to you when you're not looking. And I feel like I don't have time, and neither do you, to be unequally yoked with somebody who doesn't want the same thing that you want. Chances are, like, if there's no communication, if there's no spark, you know what I mean? Right off the bat, then it's not going to work out in your favor. It's not going to be, like, for the long haul. Um, you can't really be a ride or die when you have people in the back seat. And I got that on Instagram, so don't come for me. You have to set the bar and not lower it. So if, you know, somebody comes in your life and you, like, notice one red flag, it's like, oh, uh, it's whatever, you know. I'm going I'm to give him a chance. You know, he doesn't believe in God. That's fine, you know, but I do. And then you see another red flag like, oh, um, he uses derogatory terms toward homosexuals. That's okay. I mean, I go to the Pride Festival, but I guess he just won't come with me this year. And then you see another red flag when he's calling you a B-word. <laughs> Never let that slide. Like, side note, please don't, don't refrain from profanity. It's here, okay? All these red flags just keep getting bigger and bigger and more noticeable. And you try to, you know, like give him the benefit of the doubt, but don't because they never go away. He's still going to be that same person. She's still going to be that same person. So, you know, set the bar and don't lower it. Set the bar and don't bar. We really don't need somebody. Like, that's what I have to get in my head. Like, I may want a, you know, like a little boo to life for spooky season. You know, I can like hang out with, go to pumpkin patch with, whatever. But you don't need that. It will never be a necessity, okay? Like, it's a luxury, but you will never need that to survive. You will never need that to have a good time, you know? 
I just feel like put so much emphasis on our relationships and I was watching a sermon by Sarah Jakes Roberts she's a really powerful strong influential black woman and she's um a preacher's daughter so you know if you want to like check out her sermons I'll leave the link in the bio but the one that I'm talking about I think it was called shipwrecked and it put in retrospect um why some relationships and some friendships and you know all the ships <laughs> i get it carter be quiet sometimes we place too much importance on that ship and you know when it breaks down when it sinks we think we'll never be able to get to our destination but that's not the case because they were never needed in the first place maybe for a certain point of time but we have to stop wanting temporary things to be permanent like we just have to go with the flow you know what i'm saying so you know anyone that you meet like especially if you're my age probably won't last forever so take what they're teaching you if they're even teaching you anything if they're not get out but um just take things for what they are and know that you'll never need someone to feel complete or be complete and you know maybe it's just not your time if you keep meeting these guys like time after time and they all want the same thing and they all act the same and they all just like da -da 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 -da, and they come in and out of your life and there's so many problems that don't you think that's a sign that whoa let me take a step back i don't need this right now let me hop in my bag let me secure that bag let's go get this bread ladies okay let's just go get this bread Maybe you just need to shift your attention on something more important. And then, you know, that guy that girl you always wanted will come back right into your life. Okay? Guys, my eyebrows have never looked this bad just because I'm not focused right now. Like, I'm just going, like, off on a tangent. Like, I'm, okay, like, I'm just going off on a tangent. Like, I'm just running with it. Should I even finish this makeup look? Because I'm not even going anywhere. Like, this is turning out to be disgusting embarrassing this is not how i really do makeup but this is your first time watching you know what let's not even do this right now like let's just film this video with a half eyebrow okay okay just for the purposes of this video i finished my brows they look nasty as i've said in the last clip um i just i really couldn't go on looking like that disgusting filming a video with one eyebrow done but i'm done with makeup right now because we're really getting somewhere like we are really finding out like who we are what is about to go down you know, this bread that we're about to obtain, that we're snatching, we are finding out these tips and um, there's no room for foundation. You know what I'm saying? There's no room for setting powder. I don't even own setting powder. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is trusting your gut. If you don't think something is gonna work out, why would you put yourself through that? If you already see the... If you don't think something is gonna work out, you know your tendencies better than anybody else. You know yourself, you know what works and what doesn't work for you. So why would you even put yourself through that? Like, it can be hard sometimes because you wanna give people the benefit of the doubt. Whether it's a friend, whether it's a colleague, a coworker, you know, um, a student at school, um, a guy, it could literally be anyone. Trust your gut always because it could be a life or death situation. And I'm telling you right now, quick little story time. I don't want to get too much into it, but I thought this person was dangerous. And I was like, whoa, I told someone in authority and they turned out to be dangerous. That's all I'm going to say. I've been advised not to speak on it. You're only accountable and you're only responsible for yourself. So you want to be able to be at peace with the decisions that you make. If you're not trusting your gut and you're getting into a situation that you may not be 100% comfortable with, you know, you're getting into a friendship that you kind of like have premonitions about, then take a step back because it's not the end of the world. Sometimes you need to burn down a few bridges to get to where you're going because not everyone is allowed and has the privilege to be a part of your journey. So trust your gut, okay? And the very, 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 very last thing that I want to talk about on a lighter note is the future because, you know, the future is an exciting thing. You know, it's inevitable. It's going to happen whether it's tomorrow, next week, you know, next month, the next year. Things are going to happen for you. And I've been noticing a lot of people, again, I'm not going to put them on blast on the Internet, but I've been noticing a lot of people that are like waiting to take that like next step, whether it's starting a YouTube channel 
um, joining a club, doing a sport, you know, doing a blog, just like something for them. And I feel like they're just waiting and waiting and waiting till they're ready. Newsflash, baby, you're never going to be ready. You got to throw yourself in the pool. Like, you ever stand on a diving board or like a cliff and like you're gonna jump in the water and you know it's gonna be freezing it's gonna be cold and you're gonna think that you're drowning for a second and like it's the deep end and like this is something new and crazy and funky like um you ever feel like that and like you just feel like you're never ready to just throw yourself in like you know a pool of water in the ocean you're never ready for that you can stand up on that cliff for years and some of y'all are on that cliff. I'm on that cliff. Let me tell you something. Like, realty, um, I'm really scared to talk to new people. I'm really scared of a lot of things. You know, I'm on that cliff right now, too. So, don't even think I'm, like, holier than thou. But, anyway. I feel like we just need to do it. Like, let's just do it together. Like, let's, on the count of three, let's just jump in the... Count of three, let's just jump in the water. Like, let's just do what we want to do and don't care what other people think. You think everybody at my school is supportive of me making videos? You think nobody laughs at me because of my personality or my larger than life, you know, theatrics and everything? You don't think people look at me funny, talk about me without me knowing or with me knowing, showing me fake love? Like, that stuff happens on the daily. Whether I know about it or not, I know that it happens. And it's just the fact that I keep going because you guys just, you guys give me life. You guys, you know, you make me feel so accepted. You make me feel like I kind of have a purpose here because you're going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> you don't think I'm crazy. Don't unsubscribe. But I used to like talk like this in the shower. Like literally this is me in my purest form with a camera in front of my face and I feel like from all the love and support like I get DMs sometimes like just a little bit or I'll get like comments and I'll be like thank you so much like you helped me with this like I'm ready for your next video like it makes me so happy like you guys have no idea every comment means something every DM means something like every like heart like view um you guys just, I'm forever grateful, even though I'm not even famous or anything. I, um, I just think that you guys are really helping me through my experience, and I want to help you through yours. So, yes, this has been a very, 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 like, rambling, like, tangent, rant, vent, whatever. It's been a tea time, and the tea was piping. Um, but I feel like I needed this. Maybe you needed this. I know it was all over the place, but... Thank you guys so much for just tuning in, you know, like listening to what I have to say. And if you watch this entire video, oh my gosh, like God bless you. Because it's going to be a lot of editing to do. But um, yeah, so <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. But that's all I have for y'all today. And hopefully I will be back next week. I can't promise anything. And I know that's unfair to you guys. But I know that I always come first. And when I'm not feeling 100%, I'm not going to give you guys 50. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Um, have a good day. Period. Let's move this bread. Uh, yeah, okay. Bye.